how to create daily and weekly planner in ClickUp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how easy it is to create a space dedicated to daily and weekly planner in your favorite uh, organization platform, which is ClickUp. So basically it is very easy and very simple. What are we going to do here is to set up a, the, here a space specific for that. So what are we going to do is to head over to clickup.com, sign in for an account. And here, as you can see, we have the spaces. Now I'm going to create a new space. So we are going to name it, for example, here, calendar, or we are going to put up here planner. And for the description, I'm going to put it here as um, not or empty. I'm going to use here templates. And what are we going to do is to search for a certain template. We are going to type in here content and we are going to see a template. So we are going to see here the marketing. We are going to see if we don't have a uh, content. We have uh, here normally some planners. We're going to see here social media marketing, scrum management. We are going to search for a specific one. So here I have a quick tip for you. If you do not find the template that we seek for or you are going to seek for, for example, here I have typed in content. I have found nearly nothing. And that is a GGD template type. So as you can see, everything is set up to space. So we have something which is specific. I'm going to delete or and uh, check the space right there uh, type and see that we have here uh, um, some more models. We have here the blog editorial calendar. We have the, uh, as you can see, uh, campaign base. We are going to see content calendar, this one. We have posting calendar, we have a lot. So what are we going to do here is to see this one. This is more interesting, the content calendar. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, it is going to be like that. I'm going to include this feedback right there. We are going to see the, um, the template include or included. Here we have some templates, custom fields and types. I'm going to click on use uh, here template. So. We're going to put here a folder name, for example, uh, Jack's planner. The planner is already the calendar, so we are going to use it for the personal list. Uh, here, uh, import everything. We're going to import as here. Do you want to include archive tasks? No. I will go ahead and click on use template. Just like that here, we're going to see it. So we are going to put here the template. I'm going to use or right there the task. We are going to see the spaces. It is going to be creating the space. Jack's planner. We are going to see here the uh, planner. So what are we going to do here? We are going to see the space. Jack's planner. So we are going to see here the lists. As you can see, the recent. So we're going to change the view, but there we have the boards, we have the teams, the activity, and here we are going to see the calendar. Boom, here we have the calendar. Now, so you are going to see here the, um, the time period. You're going to set it, set it up as monthly. For example, you're going to see here the Monday, uh, the monthly calendar, or you're going to put it here the weekly. So you are going to see here, the uh, weekly view so we are going to see it right there each one of the as you can see the week from the 1st of december to the 7th is going to be here and for the months you're going to see them just right there so now i'm going to put the weekly i'm going to start with that now let's go ahead and add some tasks so as you can see here we have some emails to put up now if i want to set up something for example, we have here the day. You can go ahead and create a task by clicking on the day. For example, here I have here all day. As you can see, I'm going to set up here, as you can see, Sunday, product sneak peek. These are some examples, monthly bestsellers, expert interview. For Monday, for example, if I want to set up something here, we are going to uh, put it as uh, or under something like, you can go ahead and show all. 
and create a, your list from here. So you can go ahead and click on the plus sign here and select whatever. For example, we have a form, doc, whiteboard, whatever. Or also you can go ahead and import some things right there from Trello, or Trello Jira, whatever. So we're going to add it to list. So we do not have a list here. I'm going to type in something like Jack's list. For example, click on create. It will be adding it. So what are we going to do is to head over here to Jack planner. Here we have it. Now we are going to see the Monday, which is going to be here included. I'm going to head here, uh, click on the weekly view click on add task. Now we are not going to use the email, but on Jack list, the task name, for example, here, uh, let's say, uh, publish the videos on YouTube, for example, and we are going to set up here the, um, due date to, for example, I don't know here, we have here a reminder. I'm going to click on here. As you can see here, we have added the task, which is going to be all day. This task is going to be specific for all day. And if you are going to have here a certain task for on a certain hour, for example, you are going to click on this task. You are going to set up the assignees, uh, the start date, the due date, the priority. For example, I'm going to put it as high. Uh, the tags, you can go ahead and put some tags, whatever. You are going to add some custom fields, some attachments. If you have uh, some videos right there, Subtasks here do not, for example, forget the thumbnails and the SEO description. For example, click on save. Boom. Now, this is a full task. So you can go ahead and put it or here or add the task from here. For example, I'm going to select your checklist again. So you can go ahead and put here a start date, for example, for tomorrow, for example, like that, and put here the same task as you want here. We have here the uh, first half of the hour, and here we have the second half of the hour. We're going to see it. This was for the uh, weekly view. Now let's head over the monthly one. So this is the monthly one. So you are going to see here the, as you can see, the days. And here we have the uh, calendar of the monthly calendar. So you can go ahead and choose the month, for example, in advance or in preview month. For example, we are on November. So here we have some, as you can see, the um, notification or the tasks. Let's say here we are going to do something on uh, uh, January right there. We are going to select the first right there, day of January. We are going to select here not email, but uh, Jack list. For example, we are going to type in here, set up the new budget, for example, and we are going to leave it as this. So what are we going to do here? Here we have it. Now uh, I'm going to put it here at the priority as normal and here. So you can go ahead and open the uh, status or for example, drafting scheduled, for example. And here we are going to set up the assignee, for example, here, or, or, or all the team, we are going to put them right there. Add description, for example, here, we can go ahead and add a block, for example, for a table, a banner, a checklist, for example, daily budget for ads for example and here we are going to set up something else like uh here uh weekly budget uh for example like that for ads also ads here we are going to add something else like let's go ahead uh here and put buy a new camera set set for example i'm going to put here for example sony sony let's say here a 7s for example and etc so you can add some attachment for references boom 
this is here we are going to see the activities we are going to see here the assigned and all the activities that has been set so we are going to see that the color has been changed as the status of it so we are going to add for example other things that you want for example you can add some tasks right there and you are going to see how this task is going to be added and the uh, as you can see here the uh, specific right there uh, list and also the type of it for example if it is a milestone or a task we have tons of things that we can go ahead and do so here we have for example drafting we're going to set up here a due date for december the 6th for example like that and at time for example at 9 a.m let's see here 9 a.m something like this the priority you are going to set it as for example normal and you're going to create that task so it is going to be something like this so here we need a task name for example you can go ahead and type in here for commands or assign something assigned to me for example this one i'm going to put it here uh, set up the uh, commercial bits videos for example like that create that task without a uh, description so we are going to put it right there and it is going to be here so we are going to put a date for it and also we are going to see it i don't know here or there but you are going to put it here but the uh, most preferable way is to click on create task and then you are going to see it for the views here you are going to set up here the views for example we have the calendar you can add and see all the activities right there resumed for example on here so we have here the activities the teams you are going to put that but it is not going to be a free thing the board is going to be here setting up the drafting the reviews the approved and also the uh, setup as you can see scheduled so we have here the scheduled uh here set up the new budget we have made it right there and the overview is going to be here the statistics and everything so you are going to see here a overview dashboard test player by assignee and etc so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one